the Sex Pistols? No! <laughs> no! Alright, well, like, let's have Christmas some chips and <laughs> hang out. So, should we talk about the band? Let's do it! Alright, good. So, you're known for big rock shows. Mm -hmm. This is an acoustic tour. This is the last day of the acoustic tour. Why the decision to do it, and how has it been so far? Well, it's been really good. The decision to do the acoustic thing, I'll answer that first. Um, came from a show, we did a show in Nashville. We were really, really scared to do it because we don't play acoustic typically. We write all, a lot of our songs acoustic, but we don't typically play acoustic, with the exception of the one-off radio show or, you know, sometimes you know, Chet and Brad will go do some stuff, you know, just an acoustic guitar, but not the whole band. And, and acoustic is, is a, just a different animal. Once we got out there, it was, it was like, oh, there was nothing to be scared of. It was pretty right. awesome. You know, you just kind of worked yourself up, but it turned out good. It turned out great. It is more intimate, right? It's really intimate. You'll see the night, man. There's banter between the songs from Brad will just talk, you know, between the songs, tell stories and mess with Chet. And it'll be like... You really, won't mess with you, just chat. I'm really quiet up there. I like to talk here and overpower, like, tell Chet shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, it's, that's what that quiet. banter is. What? <laughs> so in here you talk more than Chet, but up there you talk more. Chet, Chet, Chet they, Yeah, more. that's when they allow me to speak. That's when they allow me. Uh, really, up there. really, Chet's really good at it, so, <laughs> you know, I just kind of stay quiet and do it. I hear you have a new record in the making? Yes. Is that, can you tell me about that? Well, um... We're, we're actually writing it at the moment, and we're just kind of throwing ideas back and forth at each other. It's been a long process, because I mean, this band in the last two years has changed, you know, almost almost 50% of the members are, you know what I mean? So that's a big deal, and, you know, replacing guitar players, guitar players write a lot. So when you replace one of, of the writers in the band with another guy, I mean, there's a whole kind of settling in process that has to go that has to take place and so we had to go through that and I think we're through that now and then we replaced our bass player um, and there's a whole nother learning curve settling in phase where he has to settle in we all got to get comfortable with each other I mean, that was the long answer to that question I like long answers <laughs> you can edit chop whatever you yeah. want out of that yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> we do good things <laughs> that's, what it will sound like. that's the whole interview. That's the whole interview. Yeah. We do good things. <laughs> like, so. And then you guys on stage. That's, <laughs> that's on stage. stage. Am I correct that you were the guitar tech beforehand? I was his tech. Yeah. You were I teched, okay. Yeah. I tech for this guy right here for at least a couple of years. So you guys, years. Are, you were already part of the band's community. Yeah, right? and even before that, me and him were, you know, working in the studio together, okay. recording. Um, More than 20 million records sold, yep. I read. Mm -hmm. How do you keep it going for so long? Well, um, <clears throat> perseverance is a word that I would say you have to use. You have to, uh, you have to develop, I, I, I think you have to develop um, a tolerance to other people's, not just their bullshit, but like kind of like other people's way of life. I feel that it's stronger. The way it is, the live show, especially in the co you know the, the 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 band itself playing live is stronger than it's ever been, okay. you know, um, I, and and that's just my opinion. The situation was what it was. People were where they were in their life and blah blah blah, and now we have better. What are you trying to do with the lyrics you write? I've read that you want to help people um, inspire them in some way in their lives. Is that true? I, I think you know the lyrics from from three years down are meant to. Inspire would be one word. I would say that they just are meant as a connection. You know what I mean? For people to take and interpret and make their own. I think our, our songs, some of them are to the point, but some of them are left broad enough to where it can mean something to you, it can mean something to me, it can mean something to him. So all three of us can connect in that song in our own way. You know, not just be like, hey, we're going to party like it's 1995. You know what I mean? It's not like that. It's just, it's Leave it open. Yeah, whatever. 2012. I'm not telling be quiet here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The floor is yours. Right? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I thought you were telling me be quiet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, go to 
Thank you, man. Yes, thank you. Time.